Hey guys, welcome back to another video and if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. I'm Kimmy and today we're going to be talking about some of my current favorites that I have been really loving and these do not limit to only beauty products. I'll be talking about beauty products, uh, some food, some clothing, some skincare products. We'll just see how it goes and see how long this video gets. I don't want it to be so Susu long. Super super long. This is my first time filming a favorites video so I just want to you know test the water out and see what kind of works for me and what people want to see. So yeah, let's get started. First we're going to be talking about beauty products and the first product I've got for you guys is this little sponge right here. This is the Equal Tools blending brush. I'm not sure what the name is. I will put it right here or in the just definitely in the description box below. But this sponge is a miracle sponge. I have never used the Beauty Blender before, but I've heard amazing things about it and I've definitely heard people comparing this sponge to the beauty blender but for me personally I have only used the real techniques real uh, the complexion sponge the orange one and this one so I only have these two to compare and I really do love this a lot more than I love the complexion sponge I really like the shape first of all I like that it has a round butt right here you know it has a tip right here which is similar to the beauty blender and it has two flat surfaces on the side, one is smaller and one is a bit bigger. And what I use the sides for are to press powder into my eyelids, like when I want to set my eyelids because I have really hooded eyes, I really need to, you know, press the powder in. And the bottom is perfect for blending out your foundation. I really love the shape, and then with this little tip right here, it's perfect for blending out the concealer, but I use just the butt for everything. Basically. Yeah, I really, really love this. And with this, it comes together in a set with this little smaller sponge. This one I believe is for blending out your contour or maybe under your eyes or something. But personally, I do not like this sponge that much. It's a lot denser than this. Even after I wet it, it's a lot denser than this sponge. So I don't really like this that much. And when I read the reviews online for this sponge, a lot of people said that it kind of tore really easily after a few washes. But for me, I wash it like every single time I use it after I use it. And it hasn't torn or ripped on me. So... I don't know how aggressively the other people were washing it, but for me, I have I didn't have that problem. So, yeah, really been loving this. And if you are curious about the look I'm wearing right now, I did film a tutorial on this in my uh, Kathleen Lyons ColourPop Dream Street Palette review. I did this look along with a more dramatic look using the palette. So, if you are curious, you can check that out. I'll leave a link in the description box below. So the second product that I've really been liking is the new, or not really new, but the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder in the shade Warm Light. This powder is so good! It's like a really fine powder. It has a little bit of coverage to it. And honestly, I like this more than the RCMA powder. I do have to put a little bit more under my eyes since I use a lot of concealer. But otherwise, for the other parts of my face, it just works perfectly with a light dusting. So it's so affordable and for the quality you're getting, it's definitely worth it. So I would definitely recommend this to anyone who's considering if you would like it. The next product is also a pressed powder product. It is the Pure Nude Highlighter by Essence. So this highlighter, um, I've been considering to purchase for quite a while because I wasn't sure if it's enough glow for me but this one really didn't disappoint me and also because this highlighter has kind of a I used the word flesh color in my other video but I think it's more like a peachy color which blends so nicely on more like light skin tones and it just looks so natural okay I'm not wearing it <laughs> I'm not wearing it today, I don't know why I'm showing it. And the powder itself is so buttery and so smooth, it just melts onto your skin. And for the price, again, so affordable and it's just worth more than what it costs. So yeah, so good, definitely recommend. The next product is, again, a pressed powder product and it is 
the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Did I really have to say more? I know that Physicians Formula doesn't really have a nice range to their products and probably only like lightish medium skin tone can wear this. They did come out with two more but they're still too light for darker deeper skin tones so um, I really wish they could come up with more so that more people could enjoy this product. But I really really like the formula too. It's very smooth, very buttery. Let me just swatch it. See that was one swipe super smooth. A little bit too much powder right there. But one thing I do have a load like for me is a drawback is the scent i do know that many people love the scent the you know the coconut and really stuffy but i can still smell it like the very strong fragrance of like kind of coconut i don't know, kind of like a fruity tropical scent personally i think it's a little too overwhelming for my taste even if you apply it to your face it kind of does linger a little bit for a while but halfway through the day it kind of disappears or it could be just you know your adaptation to the scent and you just kind of don't notice anymore yeah i'm not a big fan of the scent like many people are but for the formula for the bronzer i can't endure that smell but just okay more beauty favorites this concealer is from a korean brand called the sam not sure how you pronounce it I love these concealers, I've been using them for forever and they're definitely not just a current favorite, they're, they are like all time favorites and I just feel like I've never really you know, talked about them so I wanted to include them in the favorites video today. This is 1.5, the darker more natural shade. This is 01, it is the highlighting shade. So I usually would use these two together and here I have mixed them and see how much they cover up my veins these concealers are so so high coverage and they are so so affordable at the same time but the only problem with them is that they leak I don't know if you can see that like I closed them but they still leak but otherwise it is so creamy it is so high coverage super affordable you don't find that they crease very much if you set it properly it doesn't crease throughout the day and yeah I really love these the next beauty favorite is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso? Black, black, sorry, black. I really, really like this a lot. I find that it does my brows super precisely and I could do a very nice gradient brow with this in, you know, a, such a short amount of time. The pencil itself is super, super small and very fine, so it makes it very easy to, you know, fake some brow hair strokes. And also it has a very nice spoolie at the back. It is from NYX, so it is also very affordable. It's a brow pencil, so I don't know what else I can say, but I really love this. The next favorite is something that I've only started to really, really love just in the past week or two weeks. It is the Deja Vu Lash Knockout Mascara. This is what the wand looks like. It is a bristle wand. So this mascara I've had for quite a while and I really didn't like this in the beginning. When I first got it, I found that the formula was too wet. It really didn't do much for my lashes, especially my lashes being so short and kind of stubby and they don't curl very easily. So I really didn't like this for a while and I just decided to keep it anyway, thinking maybe if I kept it for a while and if the formula dried up a little bit more, it would apply very beautifully. And luckily it did. It's crazy how long I've had this. I've had this for half a year and I've only been starting to like this in the past month or so. Now it really does add a lot of volume and a lot of length to my lashes. I don't know if that makes it worth it to use this mascara. I would probably not repurchase this but for now I've been really loving this. The next favorite is a lip favorite and it is also what I'm wearing on my lips right now it is the NYX soft flat soft flat it is the NYX soft matte lip cream in Zurich this is what it looks like I'm going to swatch it it is a nice rosy pink how I like to apply it is I apply it to my bottom lip and then just blend it out with my fingers I find that it gives a very nice you know natural lip look kind of like a your lips but better kind of shade my lips get really, really pale if I don't apply anything on it, and so with this, I really like to 
just keep it in my purse at all times you know sometimes I would even wear it without putting on any additional makeup just this if my lips are too pale the staying power I would say is not the greatest it is a matte lipstick but it's not super super long wearing I would say it does transfer and it's not the most long wearing but for the price and I love the smell I can't smell anything right now but I love the you know the vanilla cake kind of smell to it it does go away like pretty much as soon as you apply it but I really really like this and I use it all the time so the next favorite is da 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 the dream street palette I know I've only gotten this like recently but I already know I love this oh my gosh I won't go into too much detail because I did an entire video reviewing this palette but um, definitely it's in my most recent favorites cuz it's beautiful next we're moving on to skincare favorites first I want to talk about is the Kiehl's ultra facial moisturizer I am completely out of this like there is no more in there I need to get a new bottle it is the perfect moisturizer for just everyday use I would say I bought this around summertime so it's lasted me about half a year which I think for the price and for what you're getting is totally worth it the great thing about this is that I find that this is useful for me in the summer but also in the winter so in the winter I would use this but also you know increase my amounts of masks and oils that I put on my face but with this I just find that it's enough I like it's in a kind of a a squeezy bottle like it's not you know a tub so I really really like this and I need more so the product that I like to use with the moisturizer is ultra facial toner so this toner I had maybe for four months and I think I still have like a huge bottle because it's still so heavy and this toner I also really really like again I find that this works very well for me in the summer and also in the winter but how I like to use this is I would you know put it on a little cotton pad and wipe my face with it after I've washed my face I would you know wipe it with the cotton pad after that I would put a little bit in the palm of my hand and then you know pat an additional layer of toner on my face and even with that I do that every single night I still have it's right here I don't know if you can see that I, I, it's like about here I actually think this is even more cost-efficient than the moisturizer and I really don't think it's that expensive considering what you're getting and the brand itself like I said it's more of a high-end brand but for the price and for the product that you're getting I think it's a pretty good deal and I would recommend and I forgot to mention I have a I have more like dry sensitive skin I have very dry and very sensitive skin so I do find that this works for me perfectly the next product I find that it should be everyone's best friend in the winter is a hundred percent jojoba oil this one is from now solutions a hundred percent pure moisturizing oil so how I like to use jojoba oil is I like to mix it in with my moisturizer I have another moisturizer for my body and what I like to do is you know put some moisturizer on my hand and then just add a few drops of this onto my hand and then mix it together and just apply it all over my body I find that it just gives it extra oomph to the moisturizer I find that when I use this I don't have to apply moisturizer as often usually in the winter when it's super dry I would need to apply my moisturizer say like almost every single day but with this I would do I would say maybe twice a week is enough I wouldn't say it's too expensive for you know like an oil but yeah definitely recommend this the next product I want to talk about is this lip balm by Lush it's called the lip service lip balm okay so this lip balm to me is a savior so for me I have very sensitive and eczema prone lips and my lips are also very dry at the same time so I've 
been having trouble finding a good lip balm for quite a while. Just regular store-bought lip balms like the twist-up kinds, they generally don't work for me. I would run out of them in say a month, sometimes even two weeks if my lips are especially dry. Like those don't really moisturize that much and some of them just basically add a layer of stickiness to my lips and does nothing. Like it doesn't penetrate through the skin and moisturize it, it just kind of sits on top of it like a mask but when I found this so when you apply it to your lips your body heat kind of melts the balm into its original form which is the oils that it's made of so in this lip balm there is shea butter apricot kernel oil cocoa butter beeswax extra virgin olive oil tangerine oil which is why this smells very citrusy actually lemonin and lenolu <laughs> Not sure what those are. This lip balm is a lot more pricier than the, you know, the twist up lip balms that you get at drugstores. And for me, after using this for a long period of time, it made such a big difference. And I would definitely buy this again. It is so good. It's enough with just this product to maintain my lips throughout the day. So that's why I really, really love this. Definitely would buy. A little expensive, but. So, one major food favorite I have recently is this cereal this is a matcha flavored cereal with you know red beans and strawberry but it's premium granola this is like my fourth bag in i would say two months but it is so good it is like so rich in matcha flavor and the strawberries are so good to eat alone or with the actual granola and i personally don't like to add milk to it i just like to grab it out of the bag and eat it straight like a snack which is what i do all the time like i don't eat this with milk and i've been loving this and i just really really needed to mention this the next item is a pair of earrings it is these ones right here they're like mini hoop earrings with studs on them they are so kawaii, okay? Um, I've been wearing them for a week straight, and which is hence the reason why I needed to switch up things a little bit. I've been wearing these with every single outfit, every single look, just wearing them relentlessly, and there's a hair. I love these so much. They're so dainty and so small and so cute, and they just really... Honestly, they go with every outfit. When I'm wearing makeup, no makeup. I've kept these for like so long. I've had these since middle school and I, I never wore them. They're from Forever 21 and I've only started wearing them recently and I've been loving these so much. And the next item are nail polishes. And it's these two right here. They are the Arctic Holiday Nail Lacquers from Kiko. So Kiko released their Arctic Holiday collection, I would say last month. I believe it was released at the beginning of December. And I got two of their nail lacquers in their collection of four. I don't really like to wear red and pink nail polishes, which were what the colors of the other two nail polishes are. Um, so I only got these two. This one is a rose gold glitter polish, and this one is one with silver and blue glitters. This is what I have on my nails right now. I'm not sure if it's focused, but this is what I have on my nails right now. They're so packed with glitter. I don't know if this is one layer, but um, I have worn them like just covering my whole nails before. What I do is I take a sponge and like paint this on a sponge and really, you know, pack the glitter on my nails. I've done that before. And hence why I've, you know, gone through this so quickly. It's like one third gone. I want to wear it again like that, but I don't want to, you know, use it up so quickly. So I've been taking a break from this and, you know, using my hundred other nail polishes. I really, really love these. They're so, so beautiful and they're packed with glitter. Super good formula. Not expensive. I wish I bought more. Seriously, I wish I bought more. So that is the end of today's video. It is so, so long. I already know it's so, so long. Not just because I talk a lot, but also because I had to keep taking breaks because I couldn't breathe. <laughs> and I just need to take a breather, drink some water, calm down because <laughs> I am so exhausted right now. If you do enjoy this video, feel free to check out any of my other videos. And if you do, feel free to subscribe to my channel for future content. And that's it. Bye! Can't breathe. I need to take a break. Are you done filming? No. Too bad because I need a charger. Good for you. Plug.
close the door? You know, halfway through the through the day through. But halfway through the the day through the day, I can't say that. Halfway through the day.